Today I received a nice little mail call from my good friend Cake Hoarder. Now, he is one of my favorite creators and he has set up his own online store to buy and sell games. And honestly, I don't remember what I ordered from him. I obviously haven't opened these packages up yet. So I wanted to open these things up and take a look at it with you guys. I've got I've got the most scuffed setup in history right here. Hopefully it all works and if it doesn't or looks a little weird, just bear with me. Now I'm not trying to give you an ASMR video. It's just like, I know you can hear that. I can see the levels. So the first package we have is just one game in this one. I actually bought two packages. Zombie U. Now I forgot that I even ordered this, but I know that I've been looking around for it for a while actually. I never played this game when it actually released on the Wii U, but I've always heard such good things about it. What is this right here? I'm not sure what that is. Okay, what is this? As you can see, it is complete in box. Apparently the inventory management system in this game is really good. I think there's a lot of um, like messing with the gamepad as you're actively running for zombies. So you can kind of be digging through your bag and just get attacked out of nowhere. So that's pretty cool. I'm really excited to try this one out. But that package was just one. Now let's open up this one. I think there's three games and there's one game in here that I'm really excited about that I unfortunately did not get um, complete in box. I think it's just the disc. So I'm going to have to look for that, uh, the box on eBay, which shouldn't go for too much. Let's see what we've got here. A fighting game. To be honest, I don't remember buying this. I, I really don't. So this is kind of a surprise. Fight Night 2004. Um, I, I think he puts these in here maybe to protect some of the the stuff inside but complete in box uh if you know me you know i'm going for a complete original xbox collection so i'm going to need this regardless I, i'm guessing this one was really cheap though so you know what it's going to go on the shelf i might put it in one day now this is the game i was talking about the one i did not get complete in box and that is oh you you can't see it because of the protective thing okay okay nice that game is Kirby's Epic Yarn. Now, I never played this one, but I really love the art style. It reminds me a lot of Yoshi's Woolly World, or Kirby and the Rainbow Curse that came out for Wii U. I actually just picked that one up recently. But no, really excited to try this one. I'm certainly more of a complete in box kind of guy, but my good friend was selling this on his website, and I wanted it anyway, so this one's going to be nice. I'm probably going to play this immediately after recording this video. Now, this one I'm excited about, too. The last one is Regular Show Mordecai and Rigby in 8-Bit Land for the 3DS. I don't know anything about this game, actually. I wonder if this Club Nintendo code still works. Probably not, but complete in box as complete in a box as you can be in this era of Nintendo. I really wanted to take a look at the manual, though. I have some Adventure Time games on 3DS, and the manuals are really cool. This one doesn't look like it's in full color, but that's not a big deal. It's still a lot more than we get normally, right? Usually we don't get anything. Wait, actually the back of this looks so cool. Oh, these are actually just toys. I thought this was something um, like a model, clay model that they created for the game. So I'm going to slip this Club Nintendo thing in the back and put the manual up front and make it look real nice. I'm not sure what kind of gameplay this is. looks like it's 2D. So probably going to try this one out today too. I'm going to have to find something for this Kirby's Epic Yarn. I don't think he would have sent me this broken. I'm pretty sure it got destroyed um, by the postal worker or whoever delivered it to me. But it's not a big deal. I will definitely be buying a case for it. Fight Night, I'll, I'll be honest, out of all the games I got here, Fight Night is probably the one I'm not ever going to play. But like I said, going for that complete collection, I got to have it on the shelf, you know? All right, so that does it for this haul. I'm definitely going to be buying some more games from Cake. And I think you should too as well. I'm going to link all of his stuff in the description. He's a lot more popular than me, so you probably already know him. But no, he's a really good dude. He's got some really good content. Hopefully, now I'm praying to God that all of this works and this video goes up without a hassle. And if it does, I appreciate you for watching and making it to the end. I'm probably going to be doing a lot more YouTube stuff and focusing on a lot longer form content. I was supposed to have an hour long video go up this week and the file got lost somehow. So that video will eventually come out, but it's obviously going to be a minute. It took a long time to edit. I think my biggest struggle with the YouTube thing is figuring out how to end a video because everything I say sounds really awkward in retrospect. So I think I'm just going to end it here. I appreciate you again for watching.